Emma Navarro, 22-year-old American, she will be inside the top 50 for the first time in her career come Monday morning. Congratulations. She taking on Sophia Kennan here, and this would go three sets in San Diego. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every day. Emma getting some coaching from her camp. What a classy young lady, guys. She's the future of tennis at 22 years old. American tennis looks bright, and especially with Coco at only 19 years old. Oh, my goodness. Now, big game Sophia Kennan. She's an American, a Grand Slam champion. A lot of people forget about her, and she had to go into deep waters tonight to get this victory. Emma Navarro, that's right, won the second set after getting blown out in the first, would make this match pretty darn competitive. But Sophia Kennan would come through victorious. That's it, right, guys. And she was very emotional after this match, hugging her father. And she got a little teary-eyed. The tears didn't fall, but they were almost, <laughs> those eyes were a bit wet, ladies and gentlemen. Sophia Kennan taking out Kudamatova in the first round. We saw her drop a set to Katie Volinets in the second. She destroyed Patapova in the third. And tonight against Emma Navarro, this was an amazing match. Dad was a little frustrated here and there, but Sophia Kennan would come through. And you could just see the stress on her face. Tennis, guys. Look, Sloane Stephen said in an interview a while back talking about Serena Williams. And Osaka said it as well. Like, wow, Serena still playing. She must really love tennis. Now, tennis is stressful, guys. <laughs> some people love it and some people, no, I think most players love it, but it is stressful. Let's just be honest. There are some stressful situations, especially when you're facing break points. Now, she will take on Barbara Kachikova who had a pretty tough road here as well. She took out Anne Helena in her first matchup, Beecher's said dad, and today she took out Danielle Collins. So those are all tough competitors. Now, Sophia Kennan, she did face Barbara Kachikova a few years ago, a couple years ago in Berlin. Was that, was that clay or hard? I want to say probably grass, right? Berlin now, they do grass. They used to do clay and hard. Berlin has hosted every type of tournament in Germany there. Uh, but Barbora won that match in straight sets. Very short match. Now, if I were setting the line for that match, I would make Barbora the favorite. I'd probably make her... Uh, I, I, I mean, they're both slam champions. I mean, Sophia Kennan had a lot more single success early, but as of late, Barbora's really come on. I mean, she got some very big championships last year, even earlier this year, taking out Iga. I'd probably make Barbora somewhere, uh, may maybe a, just under a two to one favorite. Uh, I think Barbora would be a clear favorite, but possibly a matchup Sophia Kennan would prefer over someone like Emma. She's going to face someone where, look, it's going to be a shot-making contest. She doesn't really have to worry about the power of Barbora or the athletic ability. It's going to come down to who can make shots. As Emma Navarro thumbs up to the crowd, very classy woman, Sophia Kennan. I thought Sophia Kennan was trying to leave early there, but she ran over to her dad, hugged him, a little teary-eyed, and no interview for Sophia Kennan tonight. She doesn't do a lot of interviews, guys. She doesn't sign a lot of balls to do photos. She is out out of there after the match, guys. Look, that's her MO. But we love Sophia Kennan. And look, she's out there looking like a baddie tonight. Go ahead, Sophia. Pops was a little worried early on, but Sophia Kennan gets the job done. Is that a smile? Is she smiling? Yes, she is. She's due to another championship. It's been a few years. It's been a long time. But she's back. Tennis in a minute. We'll see you soon.